Hello, I'm John Fox, and I'm channel John West, and I'm having a Game of Thrones Telltale Games adventure. It's not quite what I'm supposed to say, but whatever. I've got to make a decision. A small council meeting. You may sit. I am sitting. I believe Lord Ethan has reached his decision. I don't think I am. Before I name my sentinel, I must tell you. Duncan, Royland, this house needs you both. But you can only choose one, my lord. Let him be on with it. Many thought either of you would make a fine sentinel, but I have made my decision. Just making sure there isn't like a secret other choice. Right, I'm gonna give it, give the bracer to Royland. I don't know why, I think the people trust him more, and I think he'll be angry if he doesn't get it. Sir Royland de Gore, you will be my sentinel. Gods be praised. You've done well, Lord Ethan. You won't regret this. Don't gonna warn a poor me choice, my lord. Forgive me for saying so, but it's true. Now, Sentinel, what do you have to report of Ramsey Snow? My scouts say he's a day's ride away. We've no time to waste. He'll arrive before any of our allies could be here. Who knows what he's capable of? We need to prepare for the worst. There's no need to panic. We can devise a plan to deal with him. The Boltons need our people to harvest the ironwood. Even the bastard Ramsay must understand that. He's not coming here to negotiate. We must answer with the sword. That's bloody suicide. You'd gamble with the lives of everyone within these walls. Quiet, Tuttle. You're not the Sentinel. I knew this would happen. He cannot be trusted. This is the small council, is it not? Enough! Would my father have stood for this kind of bickering? Neither will I. The yes. Bolton sigil is a flayed man. Force is the only thing they understand. Put every man who can hold a spear or crossbow on the wall. And make the bastard fill his boots with piss. He would see it for the empty gesture that it is. And have us flayed. We must take a measured approach, my lord. Gentlemen, please. Thank the gods Mira has asked Lady Marjorie for her help. It's not too late for the Crown to intervene on our behalf, but we must have a plan if Mira's efforts are not successful. Right. Yes, we... I trust Mira's judgment. I don't doubt she did everything within her power to help us. We all must agree on the plan. We cannot leave until we have a consensus. Ugh. Why not make an offering for peace, my lord? Yeah, the wisdom of the Citadel. We can give the Boltons ironwood in exchange for their protection. You must be mad. It's pure folly to just give away the only currency we have to bargain with. Enough! Right, now I've got three choices. <laughs> Maester Ortengrin has swayed me. We will offer the Boltons a share of the ironwood, and we will promise our people to harvest it. Thus securing their safety. A sentinel, I must warn you. Do this, and you invite ruin upon this house. If we don't, there may be no house forester at all. If you aren't ready for a fight, you're bound to lose when one breaks out. Ethan has made his opinion known, and you will respect his decision. Forgive okay. us, my lord. We are, of course, here to serve you, as we served your father. I don't know if I've made any correct decisions. Well then, let's decide how we shall set the stage for Ramsay's arrival. We could offer him the ironwood in the courtyard. My lord, making this kind of offer outright may simply embolden Ramsay. There could be trouble, I and all the house right. will be there to see it. Meet him in the hall. It will be more private, and he will not have an audience to play against you. Lord Ethan? I will meet him in the Great Hall. It's careless. Can't you see Tuttle is steering you wrong? 
I've faithfully served this house for far too long to sit here and listen to this. Forgive me, my lord, but you are far too young to be the lord of this house. You're likely to get us all killed. Sit down at once. Oh dear. Apologies, my son. But now that it is settled, we know what we must do. You will meet Ramsay Snow in the Great Hall. And we will offer the Ironwood, providing a safe future for this house. No matter what, I will stand beside you, my lord, where your sentinel belongs. Then yeah, perhaps we should adjourn. We have to prepare the house. I annoyed Duncan. I was going to annoy one of them. Maybe I should have annoyed that guy. My lord, you have named your sentinel, but you still seem conflicted. And no matter what, you can't be indecisive. Not if you want to help this house. Forgive me. There will always be those who question your leadership. Which is why you need allies you can rely on. Family. Mira has done everything she can in King's Landing, but there are others who can help us. What about your brother, Asher? Malcolm told me. You want to bring him back. He's a skilled fighter. But what's more, he has the will to fight. A hunger for it. Sounds dangerous. He always protected you and your sister. And we need all the help we can get. But won't he be Lord if he returns? Do you want him to take my place? Of course not. He has no interest in such things. And that's not what I want either. Asher is... volatile. But that is his strength, too. Do you remember the Miller's boy? How he tormented you? I wanted to intervene, but your father said Ethan must fight his own battles. But when Asher saw it, he didn't take a breath. He grabbed the Miller's boy by the neck. That was his first instinct. Asher knocked out half the poor boy's teeth. Of course, your father was furious. But you were in danger, and there was nothing else Asher needed to know. Asher does not hesitate. He acts, and we need that. that sounds like it could be you have many dangerous. fine qualities. But you do not have that anger inside you. Asher is dangerous and unpredictable. His presence could help or hurt. Having another sword at your side always helps, especially now. I don't know who that is. Not read about him yet. I'm trying to do what's best for this family. What this family needs. Ethan, let me send Malcolm to Essos. Ah, uh, we're gonna need Malcolm. <sighs> I wanna keep Malcolm here, but uh, I don't wanna say no either. I need to be more certain in my decisions. <laughs> oh dear, oh dear. Oh, let me think. Um, no, because I think in this short term we're losing a person. I'm going to keep Malcolm here. I'm sorry, Mother, but I can't have Malcolm bring Asher back. He will not go to Essos. That is the final word. Do you hear me? She's going to remember that. I hear you, but this is a mistake. Oh I wish you trusted me with this. Know that you never stand alone. You are a forester. Mira stands with us, and she may be able to help us yet. Oh dear, how many mistakes have I made? There's a tree with a sword on it. I feel like I've only made mistakes. The problem is I've played too many of these games now and I know that like it's gonna screw me over whatever happens. But Alright, strange key. Let's drink some tea. Mm. Very nice. What's this? Uh family seal. He goes, arr, arr. Sorry. <laughs> she she's looked like she didn't like that. Um is that everything? Let's back out of this. Marjorie? 
Oh. Lady Marjorie is still with the king. I thought you'd want to know. Thank you. Mira, look. The other day when you asked Lady Marjorie for help, I only spoke out of fear for her. I want to help you if there's anything I can do. Your poor family. I can't imagine how you must feel. Thank you, Sarah. But I have to do this myself. If you feel that way. She Lady Marjorie is always saying that. how important friends and allies are in King's Landing. Just know, I will be here for you if you ever... My lady, right. I'll leave you to talk. Oh, sorry. Spoke on top of them. Are you alright, my lady? Yeah, the king was not inclined to offer help for your family. I'll need this mended. God. Oh, he said I was too easily swayed. And he reminded me that I am not yet his wife. I allayed his fear. For now. But it will be a long time before I can ask him for anything again. Nothing I said could cheer him. He wouldn't even speak to me when I left him. What can I do to make this better, my lady? Do you appreciate There's that? nothing Yay. you can do, Mira. Understand, it was my mother's plan, not mine. Ah, don't do that. I just hope you can find some way to forgive me. This is simply not how things are done, Mira. Not in King's Landing. I'm sorry, my lady. <sighs> Soon I will be queen. And maybe then I'll be in a better position to help you. But for now, now, we must both be cautious. All right, let's be cautious. I must send a raven. I have to warn my family. If you'll excuse me, my lady. Right. At least she appreciated something. Somebody appreciated something I did. Oh yeah, there was that deal with Tyrion. Right? Milady. Nicole boy. Begging your pardon, Milady. I hope I didn't frighten you. I'm glad to see you. Thank you, Milady. I hope you saw. I was right before. About Lady Marjorie and Queen Cersei. I just want you to know, I... I can help you if you'd like, and your family, if you're willing to trust me. I hear all sorts of things, things that could be useful for you. How can you help me? My problems can't be solved by what you might overhear. Which is why you must trust me, milady. You need allies. Hopefully I've proven I can be useful to you. I'm sorry. Some, I, somebody is a I really must go. Somebody Please don't despair. At some point. I know people who... Be willing to help you. I have to bet on someone being nice, though. Not those gold cloaks, though. I'm not betting on them being nice. But those gold cloaks, eh? The actual cloaks of the, the armor. The armor looks nice. Right, I guess this is Rampus. Where the bloody hell is Duncan? He should be here. Now fuck him if he's angry. We'll do without him. And without King's Landing. I know you'd hoped Mira could help us, but I'm confident we've enough strength of our own. Your men are ready to act if needed. Sir Royland, I trust you'll keep a level head. Of course, my lord. But the bastard of Bolton can't be trusted to do the same. He'll remember my words. I picked him because he's capable of a fight, but he is unpredictable. Isn't this a lovely pile of timber? Not the place I'd want to be if there was a fire. Ironwood is near impervious to flame, my lord. Is it? May I introduce Lord Ramsay of House Bolton? Son of Roose Bolton, although a bastard, 
Lord Ramsay has the full authority of Thank the Lord Thank you, Lord. That's enough. Right. Who is one. this little boy? Is he lost? May I offer you bread and salt, Lord Ramsay? I loathe bread and salt. Aren't you the little Lord? The Lord Whitehall told me you were young, but this... Look at you. A token for the new Warden of the North. Let me guess. Forrester Ironwood. Carved by our most skilled craftsmen. Ironwood. Doesn't look like much. What do you think? <laughs> Not bad. Lord Whitehill, can your lot do this? Given enough time, we could learn... Given enough time, you could do a great many things. But not oh, good. this, apparently. It seems the foresters have a talent for something after all. Lord Ramsay, we have another gift we'd like to offer to you. Oh, what? There are several ironwood groves along the borders of our land, all producing tall, strong trees. We'd like to give them to you in tribute. To me? That's very kind of you. Thank you. Look at that. Oh, no, Old no. Forest. No, you didn't give me a lot of time. Lord order. Ramsay. I probably should have given Come you a Come out to see you. Force him to focus on the business at hand. Lord Ramsay, I understand you've come here for assurance of our fealty. Fuck fealty. We came here for justice. We'll get to your justice. I got his attention. Cool. First, let's see you bend the knee to my father, Lord Bolton, Warden of the North. Words are wind. Anyone can say they're loyal. It's Neil. My Chief Lord. Ha! That wasn't so hard now, was it? Here's the thing. I don't care about your loyalty. And I care even less about a bunch of trees on some far-off hill. The Crown, however, wants what you've got. Whatever you've been supplying the Starks for centuries. Ships, shields, chamber pots. I expect you'll do the same for us. My father has promised as much to the King. You wouldn't want to make him a liar, would you? That wouldn't reflect well on me. You needn't worry. Your father will have what he needs. That's a good little lord. You can't trust a forester. They murdered our men. It was a forester squire who did it. One Whitehill soldier dead. One Bolton. Yet your man lived. He was within his right. They killed his family. I'm his talking right. to the wrong person. He killed a damn loyal it, it, soldier it. in my father's army. Then you welcomed me into your hall like a proper lord, hoping I wouldn't linger outside long enough to notice your pathetic little army. That sort of insolence from one of our loyal bannermen will not do. So I've come up with a solution that will benefit everyone. Oh dear. The White Hills will be taking control of your Ironwood from this day forward. What? What? The Ironwood? But... The White Hills are nothing more than up-jump thieves! You can't do that! <laughs> Why not? You know something the White Hills don't? We are talking about trees. You grow them, you cut them down. We have loyal craftsmen who make the finest weapons. The White Hills have no such craftsmen! Trying to sell them on us. Do you want ironwood for the next five years or the next fifty generations? The little lord does have a point. Yes. We'll try this. Lord Whitehill will take half of your ironwood, and we'll see who fares better. But my lord, half of something is better than the nothing you had before. To ensure there's no trouble, Lord Whitehill will install a garrison of. Twenty men within your walls. At Ironrath, that we cannot abide. Ethan. They'll 
help maintain the king's peace. And make sure there's no more trouble. This will cause more trouble, not less. <laughs> not for me. Hmm. You have a man you trust? My son, Griff. Griff yeah. will lead the garrison. The seven hells he will. That's... Do make this visit worthwhile. Please, Sir Roiland, don't. Look at this, little forester. You're not frightened, are you? Lord Ramsay. Please. And you? Are you Lord Ethan's older sister? I'm his twin, my lord. Oh, twins. Well, like the Queen and her brother. Well, <laughs> hopefully not just like the Queen and her brother. music. I never had a sister. Always wanted one. We have more to discuss, Lord Snow. I have an idea. You'll come with me. You can be my highborn ward. Lord <gasps> Ramsay, that's enough. Do you like hunting? Oh dear. Let her go. <laughs> She's quite pretty, your sister. We'd get along well. Go on, grab her. There we go. I suppose you can stay. Ah, oh, that was the right Aren't decision. Aren't you the bold lord? Oh, no! What have you done? No! But I don't Ethan! want a ball. No! no. Oh, bollocks. Uh, Far too much trouble. Ethan! Ethan! My lord! No, no! Even though you did bend the knee. Oh, I think we've oh. come to an understanding. Ethan! I certainly feel better about all this. Ethan! Ethan. Oh, come on. However, the foresters need to keep their end of the bargain. Stop! Take the boy as your ward. No! Kill him if they give you any trouble. Brian! That's very good writing. Lovely meeting all I of you. I have to assume there is no We'll have to do it again sometime. I, I Somebody have to help him. That. Fetch the mixer quickly! <laughs> you brought this on yourself. Mama! Stop! Don't let him take me! me. You will not take him! No, please! No! No, Do something! Ethan? My son. What a bastard. Ah, I have to assume that's the end of the episode. Um, the Lord's Reception. Oh dear. My story has begun. Right, um, we're back. It's the end of episode one, so me and 64.9, but 65% of people stayed with Bowen. 65% of people, me, uh, uh, swore loyalty to the king. Me and 36% of people sent Eric to the wall, so most, well, I guess it's about a third. Only 30% of the people picked Voiland as the sentinel. Look, uh, the reason I picked Voiland is because he looked the evilest, right? And always going for the good person is the sort of obvious choice, and I thought... Um, I thought that that would be, I, I was trying to be clever, I was trying to go, oh yeah, and I, I didn't want to kind of overlook his obvious talents just because he looked evil, and I still, I'm standing by that one, uh, and 50% of us met Ramsay in the Great Hall, so um, those were our decisions, and people were going to remember certain things, uh, let's press continue, see what happens. I want to read the rest of the codex. Right. Ah, it's really loud. No. I do not want to maximise... I don't want to maximise my Game of Thrones experience. Uh, no thank you. Right. Where are we? Okay. I want to look in the codex, that's what I want to do, before I let you go and read the things that I didn't see. So, oh, there's my choices, yeah. Oh, yeah, I should have been going for these. There's Eric, there's Voiland, there's Ramsay in the hall, 
There's the codex I want to go through. Which one didn't I read? Asher, Forrester. Right, Asher's always been a rebellious youth, brawling in taverns, sleeping with whores, and finding ways to raise his father's ire. But his life took a dark turn when at age 17 he fell in love with Gwyn Whitehall, the eldest daughter of his father's bitter rival. Bloodshed ensued and Lord Forrester faced a grim choice, go to war or exile Asher across the narrow sea. He chose the latter, Asher remains in Essos to this day, leave, living as a sellsword trying not to think about the life he left behind. I have Mira, it's Ethan, poor Ethan, Talia, Ryan, I guess he's the Lord now. No, he's not the Lord. Who the hell's the Lord? Uh, Gareth, Tattle, Duncan, Roland, and Malcolm Branfield. Right, I didn't send him away, I kept him. As a young man, Malcolm was the black sheep of the Branfield family. He liked to roam the countryside in the style of a hedge knight, refusing his father's offers of uh, marriage and lands. Malcolm fought bravely alongside his brothers when a house of Branfield fell, yet he and his sister were the only two survivors. In recent years, Malcolm has lived with Lady Lisa's new family at Ironrath and is the last of the Branfield line. He is currently across the narrow sea, hoping to bring Asher Forrester home from exile. I don't think he is. I didn't send him. I'm saying that, he's, he's dead. Right. I guess I'd better let you go. That was probably a shorter episode, but you can sort of see Asher's replaced. Uh, well, there's Asher there on the front screen, so I guess he's going to be the main character instead. Right, I've been John Proxy on channel John West. I've been having a Game of Thrones Telltale adventure. See you guys next time.